Hi. In this packet tracer, uh, we will learn how to config hot standby router protocol or HHRP to provide redundant ga default gateway devices to host online. Here's our topology. We have two PC, PCA and PCB connected to the internet through uh, switch 1 and switch 3 and the packet uh, are passed through router 1 and router 3 and then to router 2 and connected to the internet so this topology has a redundant feature for example if router 1 fail so PCA and PCB will use router 3 to forward the packet to router 2 and to the internet you should think that router 2 acts as a router of the ISP and router 1 and router 3 act as a routers of the uh, local company and PCA and PCB will get the default gateway of the virtual router formed by router 1 and router 3 firstly we will verify connectivity now we will trade the part to the web server from PCA on PCA we use a trace route and enter the IP address of the server Firstly, it pass through the default gateway and then to the let's have a look at the IP address. The first uh, IP address is of uh, the gigabit zero slash one on router one here, and then it go through this IP address is the router 2 gigabit 0 slash 0 this one and then go through the uh, this IP address this is INET INET it means the ISP internet router and then to the web server so the part, uh, the trace part to the web server from PCA is through switch 1 to router 1 and then router 2 and to the web server. Now we will trace a part from PCB. Trace route. You see here, firstly, it goes through the this IP address. It's of uh, the router 3 gigabit 0 slash 0, this port. And then to this IP address. It's a uh, gigabit 0 slash 0 of router 2. Gigabit 0 slash 0. Have a look again. 10, 1, 1, 2. 10, 1, 1, 2. Gigabit 0 slash 0. And then to the INET ISP router and then to the web server. So it made it go through the router 1. Gigabit 0 of router 1. Router 1. Okay. So the the trade part from PCB through S3 to router 3 to router 2 and to the internet so the trade part from PCA and PCB uh, are different one is from PCA to router 1 
and to router 2 to the internet and from PCB to router 3 to router 2 and to the internet and then uh, we will observe the network behavior when router 3 become unavailable and firstly we will delete the link between router 3 and C3 and then on PCB I enter the, to the web server the J part to the web server and have a look at it you can see PCB haven't found the way to the internet because the link on the from the C3 to router tree uh, has been uh, disabled so PCB don't have any part to the web server but in uh, reality PCB can go to switch 3 to switch 1 to router 1 to router 2 and to the internet but now it cannot uh, it, or it doesn't know how to go to the internet because uh, router 3 has cannot reachable uh, for it now I will recover the connection from S3 to router 3 gigabit and then click on the fast forward time and then I trace again as you see PCB now knows a way to go to the internet on part 2 we will configure address RP active and standby router. Step 1, we will configure address RP on router 1. As you see, router 1 and router 3 can communicate to each other through gigabit 0 slash 1. And router 3 can communicate with router 1 through the gigabit 0 slash 1 2. Oh, let's examine it. I will delete and then gigabit zero slash zero and on router one it gigabit zero slash one. Okay. The router one and router three can communicate through the LAN connect to switch interface. They can send the heartbeat a message to check for the health of the neighbor router. So we will configure it on this interface for the LHRP. So on router 1, we will enter interface gigabit 0 slash 1. And then we form a standby group version 2 and then we form a group uh, ID 1 with the virtual IP address for the default gateway of PCA and PCB is 129.168.1 and 2.5.4 and you see the SSRP state chain seat lock message the gigabit 0 slot 1 group 1 state in it and it uh, are now finding the neighbor and then the state is active then on router 3 Or next we will uh, 
configure the priority for the router one is uh, 200, uh, 150. Stand by. One. Priority 150. So why we need to configure this parameter? Because if router one get the priority that greater than 100, so that router should be the active or higher priority means active or lower priority means standby and if uh, router 3 uh, when router 1 fail router 3 will change from standby to active but when the router one recover from failure, router one should be the active again. To do that, we will configure a preamp. Stand, stand by. One preamp, and on router three. We will config on the interface gigabit zero slash zero standby version two standby one IP if we don't configure the priority so the default priority should be 100 so router 3 should be a standby router here is a message okay and now we will verify SRP configuration by using the command show standby on router one you see here on gigabit zero gigabit ethernet zero slot one group one the state is active and the virtual IP address and the active virtual MAC address and the local MAC address and the hello time of the message of the heartbeat message between the two routers and the preamp is enabled and the standby router is uh, router 3 and its uh, priority of this router is 150 and on router 3 we do show standby do so And we also get the result, the steady standby, and the virtual IP address. The virtual MAC address is the same on uh, the router one. The hello time, uh, the preamp is disabled. The IT router is router one, and the priority uh, is default 100. And then we will change the default gateway for PCA and PCB to the virtual IP address. I will change it to 100 and 254. PCB 254. Now we will observe the path when traced from PCB. I change to the web server. It will go through the router 1 and then to router 2 
to the INET server and then to the web server and from PCA I chase to router 1 router 2 the ISP and the, to the web server now I break the link to router 1 I will break the link from router 1 to switch 1 and then I return to PCB and I chase let's have a look at the result you see it's a IP address of router Maybe has some uh, delay. Let me trace again. Firstly, we go through router 3, and then router 2, and then the ISP, and to the web server. And on PCA, I trace again. You see? It go through router 3, router 2 to the ISP and the web server. Now I restore the link from S1 to router 1 by using the connection gigabit server slash 1 and click fast forward time and then on PCA I chase again you see it restore the path through the router one so that is all for this activity thanks for watching